You have amazing story behind you. You are a champion of positive change every day. And we are sure you are one of the 12,000 greatest citizenship citizen in Canada. So I think we can have lose yourself. Today you're gonna take part of the, of the history because you're gonna take part of the longest single country Olympic torch relay ever. What's that mean? That's mean 106 days, 45,000 kilometers, 1,036 cities and communities, 12,000 touch burr. It's huge. And you will never see it again. And without RBC and Coke, it wasn't possible. So thank you very much, RBC. Thank you very much, Coke. 106 days. It's almost 30% of the year. It's long. <laughs> Today is day 82. And believe me, every night when I come back to the hotel, I cry because I don't want to stop. Because it's an experience in a lifetime. I'm on the high right now. I have the chance to travel around all the country. And I'm, I'm thinking it's going too fast for me. For you, it's only 300 meters. Enjoy it. Um, we start this morning at Calgary and we'll finish here tonight. We're going to have uh, 212 dollars worth. We're going to make no 163 dots burn, 65, sorry, 165, and we're going to make 212 kilometers today. So I'm going to drop you on the road at your decision point. What does that mean? We want to see a huge orange sticker on the road with the same number. Your friends, family, fan club can wait for you there, taking picture of you. You're going to wait three to six minutes before receive the Olympic flame from the previous dots bear. During that time, they can take picture of you. And with my experience, I will say, kick them to the next point. Because they don't want to see you leaving with the torch. They want to see you coming. And they cannot run with you. So take, tell them to take picture. And they have three to six minutes to walk 300 meters ahead before you, ahead to you. And then they're going to see you coming with the flame. And then they're going to take a lot of picture. If you have a huge fan club, you can split. Half part at the beginning and the other part at the end. And tonight, share the picture at home. So you're going to wait two to six minutes before you receive the flame. And then you're going to see the beginning of convoy pass in front of you. RBC truck, Coca-Cola truck pass in front of you. And then a policeman is going to run to you. Don't worry, nothing's wrong. <laughs> He's there only to open your torch. And then you're going to hear the noise, like a barbecue at home. Don't worry, nothing's wrong. And then you're going to see the media truck pass in front of you. In the media, there's a lot of media because behind is the previous touch bear. So that's mean your moment come alive soon. You can start to be happy a little bit. And then the media truck pass in front of you and you walk in the middle of the street waiting to receive the Olympic flame. The media truck pass in front of you, you are in the middle of the street, the previous touch bear runs to you and then you kisses the torch. You put your torch as high as you can. Kisses the torch, make face to the media truck, extinguish the flame, make face to the media truck. You don't want to be the guy with no name to ruin the newspaper. So make face to the media truck, hold the torch as high as you can, high five, jump, scream, dance, do whatever you want, but be yourself. That's why you have been selected. And then you run 300 meters. You can walk. But we have you minute by minute, so please run. <laughs> and you have to run by yourself. You cannot carry a, a picture, a logo, or a Calgary Flames jersey, or carry your girlfriend, boyfriend. You cannot carry nothing. The only thing you can carry is a Montreal Labs jersey. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot carry nothing. We want to keep focus on you, your beautiful smile your beautiful eyes, and of course, the Olympic flame. Everybody at the same page at the same time with the same uniform. And then you, care, you run your 300 meters. You're gonna run inside of what we call the torch bear envelope with a lot of flame attendant be, uh, beside you, around you. And if someone tries to get in, it's not gonna be funny. 
And then they're gonna tell you faster or slower. Depends if we are ahead or behind schedule. Because we wanna make sure the last touch bearer of the day will light the cauldron at the right minutes. So they're gonna tell you faster or slower. And if you are very slower, they're gonna yell at you. And it's not gonna be funny also. <laughs> and then you run your 300 meters and you pass the flame to the next touch bearer. Same thing, make face the media truck, hold the torch as higher as you can. You are so proud to be the only one on earth with the Olympic flame. So you pass the flame to the next touch bearer, same thing, high five, scream, dance, jump, cry, kiss her, do whatever you want, but be yourself, again. And then you turn around and you go back to the sidewalk. And another policeman is gonna run to you, turn off your torch, and then the flames go out. By the time you pass the flame to the next touch burn, and you go on the sidewalk and the flames go up, you have almost 18 to 21 seconds. Taking picture with friends, family, and the Olympic flame on your torch. 18 to 21 seconds. So friends and family, it's not time changing battery on the camera. Ladies, it's not time talking about your hair or your makeup. And guys, it's not time to uh, nah, nah, you're gone. Okay? You pass the flame, you turn around, the fan clubs around you, the only flame on your torch, one picture, and it's gonna be that picture you're gonna have on your living room for the rest of your life. Be ready. Okay? And then, policeman's gonna run to you, turn off your torch, the flames go out, and then you're gonna see a pickup shuttle. It's very, very important when you see the pickup shuttle, go back in the pickup shuttle as fast as you can. Because we want to stay tight in the convoy. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, the bus driver is from BC. If we lose the police escort, we're gonna lose our way. And it's not gonna be funny also. <laughs> and you have to go back in the pickup shuttle because we have to remove the canister inside of the torch and we have to cut the mechanism inside. Make sure you will never relight it again. And make sure the torch will be safe for you at home. When you come, come when you're gonna be back in the pickup shuttle, don't ask us. I would like to light my barbecue with my Olympic torch. Is it possible? <laughs> no. <laughs> you're gonna broke my heart. That means you don't understand the Olympic spirit, the Olympic key message. You're gonna have on your torch the Olympic flame. Same flame lighted by the Sun Olympic Grace October 22. Same flame you saw traveling to Canada October 30 in Victoria. The same flame you saw at the top of the world, alert. The same flame you saw at the eastern point of Canada, Newfoundland, St. John. The same flame you saw with Sydney Crosby, Shania Twain. The same flame you gonna have on your torch. The same flame you will see at, at Vancouver February 12 for the opening ceremony. Always the same flame. Don't ask us to relight it with vulgar matches. You're gonna broke my heart. You are so lucky to have in your group here today one of the flame attendants. One guy who's the flame keeper. He sleep with the flame. He run with the flame. He eat with the flame. He take his shower with the flame. <laughs> Don't ask us in front of him to relight it with the briquet or lighter, that's mean nothing, okay? The Olympic flame was created so many, uh, the Olympic games was created so many years ago for, by the Greek people for one reason, and it's not the gold medal. We create the Olympic games to unite the world, challenging yourself. I play hockey all my life. I wasn't enough good to score 50 goals by years. So sometimes I had to fight. And I fight 60, 60, 56 times in my career. And I lose 50 fights. But I'm going to tell you something. Each time I go to the bar, in the bar, and I meet one of these guys who beat me on the ice, he always pay me a beer. Because he know how, work, how hard I was working. And he know I was there to challenge myself and take care of my teammates. And I was a team player. And it's not the way you fail, it's the way you get up. 
So that's why the Greek people created the world, the, the Olympic game, united the world. The Olympic logo, five continents all together. What the best way to unite the world? I give you something, you give something to the next person, to the next person, to the next person. You're gonna have on your torch the biggest Olympic symbol ever. That's mean a lot for the athletes. All the athletes who have been trained since 15, 10, or five years for this moment. When they saw the flame traveling to the stadium, they know their moments come alive soon. No flame, no game. When you fall in love, it's always start with a spark in your eyes. And when you don't have any fire in your eyes, it's a divorce. That's, that's what you're gonna have on your torch. You're gonna have also the biggest peace symbol ever. I don't know if you have any religious believing. I don't care if you have some good. If you don't have, it's fine. But I wanna ask you three questions. Have you ever seen someone up there? Have you ever touched someone up there? Have you ever had a chance to carry someone up there? And the answer is no. Today, you're gonna to carry the biggest peace symbol ever. And you're gonna to show to the rest of the world the biggest peace symbol ever. Believe me, if every single person on earth had a chance to carry the Olympic flame here today, the war would be ended. That's the power that you have in your hand for 300 meters. Don't ask us to relight it again to light your barbecue at home, please. I have five rules. Make sure you will enjoy your experience at all. Five rules. Rule number one, don't forget to smile. It's one of the greatest day in your life after when your kid's born. Maybe ladies, you can't say my weddings, but you can have five weddings in your life. Carry the Olympic flame, it's an experience once in a lifetime. And it's now and maybe never again. Tonight at home, tonight at the celebration site, it's gonna be too late. Don't forget to smile. Rule number two, don't forget to smile. It's the same as rule number one, if you already forgot. <laughs> rule number three, don't, forget, don't close your eyes. Never ever. When you're gonna be on the sidewalk, waiting to receive the Olympic flame, don't close your eyes. Look around you. Everybody around you will applaud, will scream, will cry. We won't touch, they, they, they're gonna try to touch you. They're gonna ask you to take a picture with you. And they don't know your name. My mom, my mom is a person who don't, don't believe on the same ball. And the first time she saw the, the Olympic flame in Sherbrooke, Quebec, she became crazy. She just tried to touch her. And she was like, I don't know what's happened. It was bigger than me. I lose my control. That's the power that you have in your hand for 300 meters. When you're gonna run, walk in the middle of, si uh, of the, when you're gonna walk in the middle of the street, take a look at the previous Taj Bear. Take a look at, at his face, his eyes. Remember his face. Because if you meet that guy five years from now, he will steal your best friend, one of your best friends. After this, you're gonna be like a team, like a family. Don't forget him. Look his smile, his eyes. Maybe tears in his eyes. Look his flame. When you're gonna light your torch, look at your flame. Don't close your eyes. You're gonna be the only one on earth with the Olympic flame. And when you're gonna run in front on the street, you're gonna pass in front of houses. And maybe one guy somewhere don't know it's the Olympic torch relay here today. And you're gonna hear a lot of noise outside. What's happened? Take a look by the window. Oh, the Olympic torch relay, that's true, I forgot. He's gonna grab his son, Jeremy. Come here, son, I have to show you something. This is the Olympic flame. The kids, what's that mean? Go, go, Olympic flame. Try to teach him. And then the kids will see the cauldron light, February 12th in Vancouver. And he will remember, I saw that flame. 
right in front of my house. And then Katrina Lemidon is going to win the gold medal. And then the kid's going to ask to his dad, can you buy me some ski or some skate? I would like to be an Olympian also. And then you're going to change some life. Marc Gagnon, one of the greatest Olympians ever. Five medal, three gold medal. His dream started in 1988 when he saw the Olympic flame pass in front of his house. And you know what? He just don't know the name of that guy that day who carried the flame. But that guy changes life. That's the power that you have in your hand for 300 meters. Don't close your eyes. When you're going to pass the flame to the next touch bear, look the spark in her eyes or his eyes. And be proud. Without you guys, we're going to be short 300 meters at the end. You are part of the team, part of the history, part of the family. And you are one of the 12 greatest citizens in Canada. Please don't close your eyes. 300 meters during the summer game, they, won, they run 100 meters by 10 seconds. You have 35 seconds. <laughs> don't close your eyes. Rule number four, be like a sponge. I mean, all the positive energy around you, catch it, it's for you. You are an amazing, amazing citizen, you are an amazing person, and today this is your paycheck. You have the power to create traffic jam and make them happy. In Montreal, when we have traffic jam, Everybody I go away. Here, they go out of the car, they let the key in, they let the door open, and they take a picture of you, and they don't know your name, and they smile. That's the power that you have in your hand for 300 meters. Catch every positive energy. Catch every split second. I saw too many touch bearers come back in the bus after they run, and <gasps> what's happened? It was too fast. They like to turn it off. I missed everything. And I don't want this to happen to you. You have to catch every split second. Rule number five. Don't close your eyes. No, it's not true. It's rule number three. Rule number five. Don't put your finger in your nose. <laughs> That's why you have red mitts. <laughs> There is no pressure, there is no reason to be stressed, no reason to have pressure on you, no reason to be nervous. All the world watching you. Any question? So that's the way to wear the uniform. Logo right in front, zip to the top, we don't want to see your color if you have any color inside. If your uniform is too big, you can tie it up here, you have bungee cord. Same thing with the pants, tie it up at the bottom. And your pants, please tie it up. I saw too many touch bear run and the pants. <laughs> so don't forget to tie it up. Red mitts on, and your red mitts are special. There's a grip inside. If you try to buy this red mitts at Zeller's or Labe, there's no grip. It's only for the touch bear. Don't put it on eBay. The original cost is 10 bucks. They're gonna give you 12. <laughs> if you really need two bucks, two bucks to eat something, ask me. I'm gonna give you a banana. <laughs> if, you don't have, if you don't have any wall of fame at home, it's time to create one. Keep your uniform, keep your red mitts, keep your torch. There is no price for that. No money, not enough money can buy your torch. Try to imagine it's the final game of the Olympic game between Canada and US. Everybody is proud to be Canadian, right? Yes. Thank you. Maple leaf to your heart. Maple leaf to your heart. That's the way to carry the Olympic torch. Maple leaf to your heart. When you're gonna run with the torch, you hold the torch as higher as you can. You are the only one on earth with the Olympic torch. You must be proud. You feel tired, no problem, switch arm. Feel tired, no problem, switch arm. You are very tired, 
you can ask the flame and turn them to all the torch. Most of the time someone say, no, I'm gonna die with a torch. <laughs> Don't switch arm like that. You're gonna have a new workout. <laughs> never, never put it upside down. Not before you run, not after you run, and please not during your run. Okay? You hold the torch as high as you can. When you kiss the torch, you kiss the torch like that. With the other, the other torch bearer. As high as you can. And you must be proud because you're going to pass the flame with one of the greatest songs ever. Our national anthem. With glowing hearts. Des plus brillants exploits. Sounds good? Like I'm an ex-hockey player, we're going to go outside. And I'm going to give you the torch. And then we're going to make a cheers. A pop up. Like before each game. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Can you show us again how you change hands safely? <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds That's, good? Yep. But you don't have to hold it that high. It's okay, just, just check it. <laughs> Not bad. You, you run like that yeah. or you can run 90 degrees yeah, yeah. like that, okay? Okay. And you switch like that. Okay. You can hold two hands. Okay. Okay. Not like that. Yes, that makes sense. Makes sense. So if you want to go to the bathroom, you have 18 seconds. Thank <laughs> you.